Hey guys, this is Sam and today we are talking about some new iPhone 8 developments because there's actually been a lot happening still, especially in the realm of case leaks. If you go ahead and look on the screen right now, you'll notice that there's a clear plastic case that actually made a lot of headlines when it was first released, I think about a week ago. I didn't cover it immediately because that by itself wasn't enough substance to create a video, but if you look at it, it's interesting and there are a few things we can notice. The first thing you're gonna notice about this photo is that it looks like it was taken mid-air, like the person who got the leaked case was trying to escape the Apple police or something, but it actually turned out really nice overall. You'll notice on the bottom there's a space for the lightning uh, port, or maybe USB-C, we don't know for sure yet. The speaker grill is like normal, but on this case, it's important to note that there is no cutout for Touch ID. It looks like that's going to be somehow embedded into the front of the phone like we've heard for some time and there's also that same up and down vertical camera cutout versus uh, horizontal like we saw on the iPhone 7 Plus. But if we go ahead and move on to the next case you'll notice that Apple probably hasn't finalized the design yet because this one looks a little bit different like for example Touch ID is present in the middle of the phone on this one and all I have to say is that that is going to be absolutely terrible if that happens and I want to hear your thoughts about this down below. Will you like Touch ID on the back of the next iPhone. I saw a really cool concept that I'll actually put up on screen right now that embedded Touch ID into the Apple logo, and I feel like that would be awesome and I would enjoy it, but at the same time, even here on the Galaxy S8, it's really strange to move your finger around the back of the device just to try to scan your fingerprint. While iris scanning can help, I'm still a huge fan of Touch ID on the front. So along with a ton of case leaks, we have seen an innumerable amount of schematic leaks. And I don't know what changed this year with recent years, but if you look back to the iPhone 6, the iPhone 6S, and even the iPhone 7, we saw a lot of leaks like with any iPhone or any new phone nowadays, but we didn't see that many schematics. This year with the iPhone 8, I'm guessing we're seeing so many schematics because Apple just isn't sure what design they want to go with. Sunny Dixon shared these on Twitter. We've also seen some schematics that look like this. At, at this point, we don't really know how it's going to look. Once again, some show Touch ID on the back, some don't. Some show a vertical camera, some show a horizontal. Uh, it's not set in stone. One last thing I want to talk about is the fact that we have continued to hear that the iPhone 8 probably won't be shipping in September, which is really disappointing. We've heard everything from the fact that Apple's going to be doing three different iPhone models to an iPhone 7S and a 7S Plus to an iPhone 8 to two different versions of the iPhone 8 or just the iPhone 7S. Nobody really knows when this thing's going to launch it. We keep hearing about these production delays, though, because it looks like Apple isn't sure what's going on with the schematics, with the Touch ID sensor. They're facing a lot of delays, and they're also having issues producing OLED screens in such a massive quantity, and it's actually kind of ironic. These OLED screens are supplied by Samsung, so your new phone's actually gonna have a Samsung screen. Alrighty guys, so as of right now, that is all we know about the state of the iPhone 8. There are a lot of rumors circulating, and at this point, I don't think anybody has a clue what this thing's gonna look like. We've seen some incredible concepts, a few of which I'll put on screen right now, and they all look really incredible. Like, I'd be down to buy any of these phones, but we have not seen an actual phone leak yet. It's all speculation and lots and lots of schematics. So if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to drop a like down below, and of course, Subscribe for more on the iPhone 8 and future Apple content in the future. I've been Sam, I hope all of you are doing great, and I'll talk to you later.